there's this, there's this concept of get it all out of your system while you're young mm -hmm. so that you can, you know, be ready for that good woman or good man. How inefficient is that model of, of getting out of your system, get it out of your system now, meaning whether it could be it's, it's, it's sex, drugs, money, um, um, the, the impulses, the dopamine levels, the, the hormonal levels, the testosterone levels that we uh, extract out of ourselves and put it onto someone else. And we don't realize that in return, we're getting not only the garbage that we had, but the garbage of that woman, that man, that woman, that man, it's now coming all in. And now we got all, all these, all these traumas. And then we're supposed to just find a good woman later, uh, a good man later, and not, and not make amends uh, for all of these, these uh, iniquities um, and, and sins that we um, exercise. So I'm, I'm very interested in that model because that is a model that I was taught. And, you know, and this is, you know, a, a personal healing process for me as well. You know, I, I was taught uh, once I actually reconnected with my biological father, you know, I didn't realize that I actually wasn't prepared mentally um, to have this, this father, uh, who is my father, come back into my life and influence me in, in, in ways that I didn't know I could be influenced. Um, and when you don't have kingdom citizenship, when you don't have discernment, when you don't have the full body armor and protection of the Holy Spirit running through you, it's very easy uh, to be influenced in different ways. So can you, can you speak to this model that a lot of people on TikTok, Clubhouse, Instagram, DMs, that are exercising this this get it out of your system now model and then trying to then find a good man later it's almost like the good man is getting the leftovers or the good woman mm. or the good woman is picking up you know this you know this 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 uh very damaged man or damaged goods so to speak and then with the rise of, of these gurus and influencers and coaches that are promoting this, this uh, way of thinking, how effective is that really long term? Do you, do, you, do you know what I'm getting at, you know, in terms of yeah. like that, that model? And then this idea that, you know, the good man comes last, the good woman comes last, she gets the leftovers, the scraps, you know, is that what's occurring? Or um, do you see that in your world? At, at Relationship Academy that you're running and then the books that you're signing and you're writing and the, all the engagements that you're going through, the people that you're coaching. Is this something that you're, you're seeing more and more of that is so just uh, dangerous long-term, especially for young people that really just don't yeah. need to be, you know, how do we promote singleness, like you said, uh, and wholeness and that single is success, that you can yeah. be alone, but not lonely, you know, that you know, you can practice, you know, purity and, and that, that should be popular. That should be, you know, influenced. Um, yeah. Speak to that a little bit. Yeah. Without a doubt, you know, it's two types of pains, the, the pain of discipline or the pain of consequence. And, and a lot of times we don't get into the place of understanding what we did and how life went wrong because we were only operating out of consequence and would not operate in discipline. Too many times people are doing permanent things with temporary people. And you can get yourself into something in, in a few minutes or a few months that you're now trying to heal from years later because you attach to what was not permanent. You attach to something that was off of an emotional wind, uh, that which you thought was going to take you to another level and give you some euphoric uh, high or whatever the case may be. And now you're expecting somebody else to pick up um, the, the ashes, so to speak, of what it is that you had experienced. And, and I think it, it really boils down to the, a level of submission, a level of surrender of, of oneself to say this life is not necessarily just about me. Everybody who I come in contact directly, or indirectly is going to be impacted by my actions and by my decisions. Um, what that all does is it delays your destiny because uh, in a place of singleness, it should be a place to where you're building, where you're progressing, 
uh, where you are uh, really taking your life to the next level. But the world, in many cases, they want you to be for the streets. The world wants you to do permanent things with temporary people. The world wants you to just try to, quote unquote, sow your royal wild oats or whatever the case may be, but not actually move into a place of destiny. And the longer you stay distracted, the more you become destructive. I'm going to say that twice because it's also nice. The longer you stay distracted, the more you stay destructive, but you also offset your destiny. Right. Maybe it's the fact that the person who God has for you can't necessarily come into your life because not that you're waiting on God, but he's waiting on you mm. when you're saying, well, I'll, I'll get married and build the business. No, maybe God wants you to build, build the business now to where it's not so much of an uphill climb. You've got your finances in order. You've got your house in order. And now you're able to soar on wings as an eagle because you put in the work, because you took the time to be alone. Because you allow God to speak to your spirit, because you were able to differentiate between what's a good idea and what's a God idea, because you did not waste your time of, of purity, of substantive development and growth, maturational development, and you actually invested in yourself. And so now you're able to really see a, a, a harvest of blessings that comes because you sacrificed. And oftentimes that's a word we don't want to use. Can you sacrifice? Whether that's financial, whether that's physical, whether that's mental, whether that's spiritual, whether that's emotional, that's a place of discipline. And it's easy to run your life on autopilot. It's easy to go, easy to go out, be outside with it and run out in the streets and do whatever the case, whatever you want to do with whoever it is. Uh -huh. But a person who values themselves, and that's not just based upon a woman, because we always say, well, women are supposed to value themselves, know their worth, love themselves. That's also for us as men to do. And when we do that, We'll see our sisters do it even on a greater level.